Hi, and welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine, and today I'm sharing with you my embellishments for the next swap over at Ginger's Corner. Okay, friends, so this is something that's new to my channel. I have joined in with Ginger over on Ginger's Corner um, and her embellishment swaps. So if you have followed along with the Love RTS Facebook group, you might have seen some information about embellishment swaps that were happening. And they got so big that Ginger had to start her own Facebook group and um, to run these swaps. And when I saw that, I messaged her and said, hey, do you have other Canadians who would like to participate? Because I really like this idea, but I get that the postage from Canada to the US and vice versa is too expensive. And so maybe there's enough of us Canadians that can participate. And she was like, yeah, you know, let's give it a try. And so we posted that they were available in Canada. And last week I did my first swap with um, one other swapper in Ontario. And we swapped die cuts for Pop Goes the Weasel. And that was fun. And this week the um, theme is blue and yellow. So um, I decided to go with, there's lots of things you can do for blue and yellow. I've seen lots of flowers. I've seen lots of tags and cluster bases. And what else have I seen on there? Oh, like kites and um, sky, like sun and clouds kind of thing. Um, people are very creative. It's just amazing. And I decided to take my blue and yellow cardstock scraps and go into my Cricut Design Space and find some things that were baby themed and make them blue and yellow. Because I think blue and yellow can go for little boys and little girls. Um, because when I look at like baby uh, mm, papers, patterned papers, they even the girl ones have blue in them. The boy ones don't always have pink in them. So anyways. I thought this would be cute. So basically um, the idea is that you make uh, four of the same thing. Okay, so if I chose this as my blue and yellow thing and maybe I would put it on like a yellow background to like complete the thing, blue and yellow, that's your embellishment. And then you send four of the same thing to your captain and your captain collects them all and then redistributes them in an envelope that you have sent her with postage on it and redistributes them so that everybody gets four different embellishments. So if I sent this, I wouldn't get this back. I would get four other things, yeah? And then they, I would send those, the captain sends those out to everybody else and then you get, so you send four of the same and you get four different things back. So that's a pretty good deal. I love the idea of using my scraps to make things for other people. That makes me happy. I like the idea of um, just using up scraps, period. Like having a reason to make embellishments. Like I might not just sit at, you know, for an hour and make embellishments for myself, but I will totally do it if I know that somebody is expecting them to come to them next week. So I really like that idea. Anyway, that's a little side note. So, because we're just starting this in Canada, last week I, I traded with one person. So I sent her four different things and she sent me four things. Now I haven't received hers yet. I don't know if they're the same or different. Um, and it doesn't matter to me. I'll be happy to get whatever I get. But I didn't want to send her four of the same thing. I, th I, I thought it would be more useful for her to have four different things. So I sent her four different things. So I wasn't sure this week, I'm the captain, I'm the one who signed up to be captain. I wasn't sure this week if it was going to be just her and I again, or if there was going to be more people joining. And this week there's three of us, or well, there's three of them and one of me. So that's four people. So they're going to send me three of the same thing. So they would send me like three of these. And then I will collect them and redistribute them and add mine. Okay, so they'll all also get one from me. Does that make sense? 
So then because I didn't know how many of us there were going to be and I wanted to get this done on the weekend so that because I work during the week and I wasn't sure I would have time. So I did all different ones and I wasn't sure how many people there were going to be. So I just made sure I had a variety. So, um, and maybe some people will get an extra bonus one because there's only three of them, but I did some little baby things. So I did happy baby and I did some just really basic ones that I think would be good for card making. And then I did some, some scrapbooking titles and each title has its own little um, cluster base to go with it. Uh, like each one of these layered titles does. So this one has, uh, actually I think it went like this. And then like this. And then like this. And I'm missing one. Where did it go? Anyway, there's a bottle somewhere. Must have fallen into my scrap bin. Okay, so anyways, these are the ones. This one is, I cut in white, but I very lightly distressed it with some blue ink. And then, yeah, so that was what I decided to do for blue and yellow. And if, if they get them and they're like, oh, there are no babies in my life, they can either make a card with it or they can um, save it and send it in another swap in the future. So anyways, I just wanted to let everybody know that this has come to Canada. And if you are Canadian and you would like to join in, please go over to Ginger's Corner and I will link all of that information below. And I really appreciate you spending some of your crafty time with me today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you have a question or comment, please leave it down below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. I love hearing from you guys. Have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.